Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to show you a clip of Dr. Robin Lustig. He's a very brilliant mind. So listen to check this out, please. Here are the eight things, what I call the diseases that are not diseases. I call them the hateful eight. Number one, glycation. Number two, oxidative stress. Number three, mitochondrial dysfunction. Number four, insulin resistance. Number five, membrane instability. Number six, inflammation. Number seven, methylation. Number eight, autophagy. These are all normal phenomena that happen, but they can be speeded up or slowed down by what you eat. And it turns out when you have control over all eight of those things, you will be 110 playing tennis. And when you don't have control over those eight things, you will be 40 years old in a wheelchair with two stumps on dialysis waiting for your next stroke. Here is the problem with modern longevity science. These so-called experts, these brilliant minds, they keep talking about metabolic aging as if it's the only thing that matters. They think if you could control glycation, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, insulin resistance, membrane instability, inflammation, methylation, and autophagy, you'll be 110 playing tennis like you're still in your prime. And the thing is, he sounds so believable. He's so quick. He's at living. He is incredibly confident. However, let's be real. That's never going to happen because he and they are all missing the most important fact of aging, motor unit loss. And if you don't understand motor unit loss, you don't understand aging, period. Here is the truth. Even if you control every single one of those eight processes perfectly, if your motor units are gone, you're not playing tennis at 110. You're not even getting out of a chair. You're done. Longevity science is obsessed with cellular health but they ignore the fact that you can have perfect mitochondria, flawless insulin sensitivity, and zero glycation. Yet, if you have no motor units left, your body is functionally useless. You're frail, weak, immobile, and dependent on others for survival. This is the biggest lie in longevity science. They assume that if they slow down metabolic aging, the whole body will just stay young by default. As if aging is just about fixing biochemistry, but that's not how it works. Here's what they don't understand. Your motor units, the nerve muscle connections that allow you to move, generate power, and react start dying off in your 30s. And once they're gone, they're gone forever. I've mentioned this many times on my channel. No amount of fasting brings them back. No NMN, resveratrol, or metformin, or rapamycin restores them. No amount of autophagy will rebuild them. If you don't train to keep them, you will lose them. And once you lose them, you lose everything. That's why the real limit on human lifespan isn't just metabolic dysfunction, it's neuromuscular failure. Think about it. If Dr. Lustig and these longevity experts were right, we should have 110-year-olds sprinting, jumping, and moving like 40-year-olds. But we don't. Why? Because by the time people reach that age, their motor units are practically gone. They can't move with speed, power, or coordination. They lost the ability to react, balance, and generate force. You can't willpower your way through that. You can't fix it with supplements, fasting, or some miracle drug. The only way to keep motor units is to train them every single day for life. Now let me talk about the catch-22 of aging. Here's the vicious cycle that no one in longevity field talks about. Motor unit loss leads to less movement. Less movement accelerates aging. Aging further destroys motor units. Eventually, you reach a critical point where you can't move at all. That's the real reason why people die. It's not just glycation or oxidative stress. It's because they become physically incapable of sustaining life. Their bodies deteriorate to the point where they can't breathe properly, can't react fast enough to avoid a fall can't get up from a chair, and that's when the system collapses. This is why no one lives beyond 120, because at some point the body runs out of motor units and it cannot function anymore. If you actually want to be 110 and still move like an athlete, you need to stop listening to these longevity scientists who never have trained a day in their life, most of them at least, and stop focusing on the one thing that actually determines whether you stay young, motor unit preservation. 
If you don't train for power, speed, balance, and reflexes, you're guaranteeing that your body will fail long before your lifespan potential is reached. This is why frailty is the number one predictor of death. Not fasting glucose, not inflammation levels, not methylation clocks. If you lose your neuromuscular function, you lose your life. And no one in the longevity space is even talking about this because they don't know. They don't understand firing rates, summation patterns, muscle wisdom, and how the nervous system actually sustains movement over a lifetime. They're caught up in molecules and pathways while completely ignoring the structural reality of aging. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not preserve your motor units, you will never be young, no matter how healthy your blood work looks or works. If you don't train your fast twitch fibers, you will never move with speed and power, no matter how low your glycation levels are. And if you let your body weaken, you're not playing tennis at 110, you're not even playing tennis at 90. You're barely getting out of bed. That's why everything you think you know about longevity is wrong. If you want to live beyond the limit, you need to train for it because no supplement, no drug, no fasting protocol will ever bring back what you lost. Aging is not just about cells. It's about whether your body can still function. If you don't fight to hold on to your motor units, nothing else matters. And that's the bottom line. So, Dr. Lustig, I challenge you. I challenge all you experts. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong that you could bring back motor units that are long gone. Nothing can bring them back. Nothing. And you need to tell the public this. Stop misleading the public. All of you. Have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen. See you soon in my next video.